Paul there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this tutorial, we are still looking at the essential tools, otherwise known as essentials. And more specifically, we are looking at the erase tool. Now, when the news about the Luminar Neo came out, there was a lot of noise around this tool because it does come with the remove power lines and remove dust spots options. Now we're gonna cover those in a second, but first of all, let's have a look at the basic functionality of this tool. Starting with the definition, the erase tool work non-destructively and it does not use layers. As soon as you select the erase tool, your cursor becomes a brush. You can see that on the screen right now. When you brush over areas you wish to erase, a red overlay appears showing your selection. So let's just brush over this track right here and you can see the red overlay come up. Now let's have a look at the actual toolbar. You have select and deselect option right here. By default, the select button is chosen. When you brush over an image with select chosen, your selected areas to erase become red. We already seen that. Now by clicking on the deselect option, you can deselect areas to erase. So for example, I can remove completely this whole selection. What's the next option? We have a brush radius here, which is really simple. You just increase or decrease the size of the brush. If you want to bring it back to the original setting, you just double click on the name and by default it returns to its original setting. Now the next button is probably the most important one and it's called erased. Now when you click on this button, you erase the area of the image that you selected. We have two more options here. First one is called clear. When you click on this button, you can you clear all the selections and you can start over. And by clicking on the restore, you restore the previous selection. So that's all these options here. Let me show you how it works. We are here, let's just zoom in. And let's zoom in on this track right here. So nice and close zoom. We are on the select. We can make the brush a little bit bigger and we can just brush around the actual track right here and on the top of it. One tip, it's a good idea to keep the brush only slightly larger than the size of the object or blemish your easing to really make it work. So we can just make it a little bit bigger here and a little bit bigger here. Now, once again, if I want to adjust the selection, I can use the deselect option and just brush some of the selection away. Once I'm happy with the selection, all I need to do, let's just fix it right here to make sure that we all good. All I need to do is to click on erase. Now, usually it takes a few seconds, but it really depends on the size of your image and how complex the situation is. However, as you can see, it's all gone. Now, once again, it's non-destructive. So by clicking at this before and after, you can see how the image looked before the eraser and after. So now you saw the basic functionality of this tool. And now let me show you the highly anticipated remove power lines and remove dust spot options. So let's jump into the catalog and let's go into this image right here. Let's click on edit and we coming back to the erase. So now this is very simple example. We have one power line right here, nothing too complicated, but let's start with a simple example. So once we here, we want to remove the power line. All we need to do is to go inside of the erase toolbar. Now, if you don't see this object removal, just click on this little arrow and just choose remove power lines. So similarly to the previous option, depending on the size, depending, depending on the complexity of the job, it may take a few seconds or it may take a few minutes. However, as you can see, once it's, it's done, it's done just like this. So let me show you before and after. I think the result is really cool. It's something very special. You can also see that it didn't only remove the power line here, but it also removed it on the house here. So let me show you again 
before and after. And I think the result is very, very cool. So this was a basic example. Now let's jump back and let's use this example right here. Now looking at this image, you can see that this is a little bit more complex. You have the light here, you have some power lines here, you have more power lines further. So let's see how well the Luminar Neo is going to do. We are going back to erase and we click on remove power lines. So here is the result. Now it did quite a decent job. I was quite happy with the fact that it also removed the actual lamp post on it. Now, when you go a little bit further, you can see it removed the power line here, but it didn't remove it here. And this is just to show you that the tool is very handy. However, is in no way perfect. So it really depends on the situation. Again, it depends on the quality of the image and you need to try it and see how well it's going to do. So let's work a little bit further. Let's go back to catalog and let's keep playing with this tool. Let's go back to the original image. Here in the original image, we go to erase again and we click on remove power lines. Again, we give it a few seconds. It will remove all the power lines from here and then we can do little further edits to it. Now, as you notice, because there was a little bit more power lines here, the edit also took a little bit longer. So let me show you before and after. So what it did, it removed the power lines from the foreground of the image. However, it left the pole. So this is where you can step in with the erase tool and actually finish the job. So let's zoom in and let's just position ourselves right. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger, probably to something like this and make sure that we on the select and let's just brush the pole away. Now we can also select this part. We can make the brush a little bit smaller and making sure that we cover everything right here. That is still a little bit here. And let's go down. Keep brushing over the pole all the way down. covering everything. Now we maybe need to adjust the size again. So let's do that. And let's very simply finish it all the way into the flowers. So I think that's quite decent. We can again play around with it, maybe deselect some parts of it and again, select some other, whatever we need to do. Once we happy with it, we can zoom out. And once again, we can click on the erase button. So again, depending on the complexity, it may take a little longer, but actually it disappeared just like this. Now I can see still a little piece there, uh, right here. So what we can do, we can again select it and just click on the erase tool again. And there you have it. So it's really neat what it can do. The combination of the remove power lines and the combination of the basic tool together can create something really cool and really speed up your workflow. So the final thing we need to try and check is the remove dust spots. So let's do that right now. Let's jump into the catalog and let's use this example right here. We have this sky full of sensor dust and blemishes. So let's jump into the edit module again. It takes a moment to load it up and then we can jump into the erase tool. Once again, making sure that we have the object removal on, otherwise click on this little arrow. And now it's time to click on the remove dust spots. So the remove dust spots compared to other tools in this tool takes probably the longest because there is a lot of calculation involved, but let's wait a moment and let's see how a good job it does. And there you have it. So all the spots are gone. I have to say out of all the tools in the erase tool, this dust spot removal is probably the coolest because the result is very impressive and it can really speed up your workflow. Let me show you before and after. You really don't have to step in and do anything further. It's a tool I've been now using quite regularly and I think it's very, very handy. Well, let's try on another image while we're here. Let's jump into this image right here. And again, this is an option where we have also some of the ground, we have some buildings, and again, we have a sky with lots of sensor dust. And there you have it. That's all the spots gone. Let me show you before and after. Once again, very, very powerful tool. Uh, just like this entire tool, the erase tool, I think it's something that sometimes is a little bit forgotten. However, now with the remove power lines and remove dust spots, I think it's even more powerful and something you should definitely keep in your back pocket to make special edits in the future. So you stayed until the end. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift and get it right now.
thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.